It's been almost two years, Sony. It's been almost two years since the PlayStation 5 came out, and for some reason, we still don't have the option to use 1440p on this system. It's no secret that the PlayStation 5 can do it. I mean, this is a very capable system. It's very powerful, right on par with the Series X. But for some reason, the Series X has had various display options since day one. Meanwhile, the PlayStation 5 still doesn't. And yes, to be fair, while Sony did push an update out in March, it didn't give us this option. It did make some changes to the display settings, but overall, the option for 1440p still isn't here. And almost two years after this console's been released, I don't know why I still have to be talking about this. Now let's get one thing straight before I actually get into this video. I am not a fanboy of Sony. I'm not a fanboy of Microsoft. I have a PS5, I have a Series X, but I'm gonna call it how it is. And yes, while Microsoft isn't, you know, they're not exempt from making dumbass decisions either. I mean, the fact that recently they've been trying to price hike Xbox Live Gold. Meanwhile, I mean, it's still the same service that we've had forever. That's not okay. And the fact that Microsoft still hasn't been able to, you know, step on the gas when it comes to actually releasing first party exclusives, that's not okay either because Sony continues to wipe the floor with them when it comes to exclusives. I mean, just looking forward into the life cycle of the PS5, I already know that I have Wolverine to look forward to, Spider Man 2, God of War Ragnarok, if I decide to get into the God of War games. And I'm looking forward to getting Horizon Zero Dawn Forbidden West. I'm still playing the first Horizon game, but I know that once I'm done with that game, I'm gonna have Forbidden West to look forward to and everything that I've seen from that game looks incredible so far. So I have to be honest, I don't understand why Sony just doesn't add this feature. I mean, if I had to give you my best guess as to why they're just not adding it, I would probably chalk it up to them just being stubborn or because I've also seen some people saying this. I made a video talking about this same topic over a year ago and in that video a lot of people in the comment section were saying maybe it's because Sony wants people to buy their 4K TVs. I mean as we all know Sony makes 4K TVs and they've been doing that for years. They make great TVs and they're a business and they're a corporation. Obviously corporations never give a shit about their consumers and they never will and I wouldn't put it past them. I mean Sony's known to be a greedy company. Sony's known to not give their consumers complete accessibility over their products or over certain services and subscriptions. I mean, we're seeing it right here with 1440p. The fact that the system is almost two years old and you have people like me still making videos talking about this and asking for it almost two years later, it just goes to show that Sony is stubborn and they like to do things their way. And while I get it because they're a business, they're gonna do things their own way, I would really appreciate it if on certain things like this, they would just stop being stubborn and just listen to the fans because this is a very easy thing to do. I mean, it's no secret that the PS5 is a very capable, powerful console. It's not hard for it to do 1440p. It wouldn't be difficult for them to do that. I mean, if, if I had to guess, I'm sure it's just as easy as making the feature available, just like unlocking it because I'm sure the PS5 already has it somewhere in the settings they probably just haven't turned it on or they probably just haven't decided to push out the update and for whatever reason i don't know i don't know why they haven't done it again i had to, if i had to guess i would say it's probably just their stubbornness and just maybe their own even their own incompetence because it's also no secret that sony has a history of just being really out of touch with their fans and with what their fans actually want and this is just another thing that shows that and it's unfortunate because I love my PS5. And like I said, I know that they're going to be killing it with the exclusives. There's already a couple that I'm looking forward to. Wolverine, Spider-Man 2, those are day one buys for me, no doubt. I mean, Insomniac's been killing it. But the fact is, the Series X gives me more accessibility. The Series X actually lets me get everything that I can get out of the monitor that I bought for it. And the fact that the PS5 doesn't let me do that... It sucks because I like both systems. I want to enjoy both systems. And it's not like, okay, you know, this simple display option is preventing me from enjoying my games. No, that's not the point. Yes, I'm still using my PS5. Yes, I'm still enjoying the games. But I mean, dude, this is an easy thing. This is a simple thing. People shouldn't be having to make videos about this shit almost two years after the system came out when two years ago, the same people were wondering where this feature was. And that's the thing. It shouldn't even be a feature. This should be something that's just built in. The system should just give you options because obviously not everybody owns a 4K display. Not everybody even wants to play on a 4K display. What if you genuinely want to just play on a monitor like me? I know I'm not the only person that enjoys monitor gaming. And ever since I got into gaming on my monitor, I appreciate it. And in some ways, I appreciate it even more than playing on a TV. Obviously, both have their pros and cons. It's a give and take like with anything. But my point is, people have options. And people have not, not only do they have options for their displays, but they should have options on how to use their products. And the fact is, Sony, for some reason, doesn't want to accept that. They don't want to embrace that. I don't know why. It could just be their stubbornness. It could just be that, hey, maybe tomorrow they release an update that finally fixes this and finally adds it. 
I don't know. But until then, we're stuck playing the waiting game. And I hate that because I really wish Sony would just listen and just stop being stubborn or whatever the hell it is that's keeping them from doing this. I don't know. But the point is, this has to happen already because we're going on almost two years since the console's been out. And meanwhile, Sony's biggest competitor and Microsoft with the Series X, they've been killing it when it comes to accessibility. They've been killing it when it comes to subscription services. And yes, while they're still you know, lacking and they're still dropping the ball, in my opinion, when it comes to exclusives, at least I know that with my Series X, I can use my monitor to its full potential and I don't have to worry about that. And honestly, I don't know when Sony's going to add this. I just hope they do it as soon as possible. But with all that being said, let me know what you think about the 1440p situation on the PS5. If you've been lucky enough to even get a PS5, because I know that Sony is still struggling to get those out as fast as possible. And a lot of people, unfortunately, are still really struggling to find one. Let me know what you think about all this. Let me know if you've been looking forward to 1440p, if you don't care, if you're fine just gaming at 4K, or if you don't even have a PS5. I'm curious to know. Thank you so much to all of you for watching this video. You already know what to do. If you like it, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment, whatever you want to do. My name's Nico. Thank you again to all of you for watching and i'll see all of you in the next one